Today I'm taking a look at the DC power supply. So we got our instruction manual, we got our power cables, and we've got our power supply. So we got our coarse voltage adjustment, our fine voltage adjustment, same for amps. So if we want to make a large change, we'll use the coarse, and if we want to make a small change, we'll use the fine. Got a power button on the bottom, that is a two position, so we got in and out. Negative positive ground, so they even gave us a couple of USB ports there on the front. So ventilation on the sides, we have rubber feet on the bottom. And we got power on the back, and it looks like we can change this between 115 and 230. Is that 115? Because that is what we use in the US. So this is the SPS3010C. In the manual we got the 3005 and the 6005, so 30 is going to be up to 30 volt, 10 is going to be 10 amps. So it's a 30 volt, 10 amp power supply. And of course 30 times 10 is 300, so this is going to be a 300 watt. So we'll plug power end of the back and that has got a pretty nice looking display on the front like the large bright numbers on there so voltage coarse voltage fine so I really like that most power supplies do not have the voltage and fine it's usually a matter of like you press the button in to adjust it which I guess you even got that here but being able to adjust the tens place and the tens place in one button is very nice and we got the amps and that does go up to 10.02 amps we have overcurrent protection. Right now it is set to 10 amps. We can adjust that right here. And we can turn that on or off. Then we got our output button right there. So these leads do just have banana clips. So these are just going to push right in. And you can see these do spin. So that will loosen this guy up. So if you have a wire with a four terminal, you can push that in there and then lock that down with that. So either way is fine with this. So right here I have got a smoke leak detector. One of the unfortunate things with these machines is that they all use DC. So I can't just plug that into an AC outlet, but with a power supply like this, we can make that happen. So I'm just going to pinch onto that lead, red to red, black to black. Car voltage is typically 12 volts, and I'm just going to keep that at 10 amps so it can pull as much power as it needs to. So I'll turn that on, and we have got power. Cool. And we are producing smoke. So that can make your life a lot easier if you don't want to plug this directly into a battery. Maybe you've got a car with a dead battery, but you still want to be able to smoke test it. A tool like this can really make your life a lot easier. So overall, that is a very nice power supply.